you guys i am so happy i think you guys can see it in my face like you know there's a glow like i am like the smile is here my eyes are closed <laughs> voice not sleeping well and i know that you're right but you should know it you've been gone for way too long now if i can lay down beside you i would i would Constantly have conversations, converse, con, you know, why can't I say this word like really now? Morning guys, hope you guys are well. So I'm about to take a walk with Ziggy. Um, it's still in the morning. Um, yeah, I have clothes in the washing machine. So while that is washing, I was thinking why don't I just take a walk with Ziggy now because it looks like you want to sleep but Ziggy is so stubborn. He doesn't want to sleep, so sometimes I have to take a walk with him, and when I come back, he's, he's still not sleeping. Like, he is so, so stubborn, like, I don't know what's happening with him nowadays. But yeah, I have my mask, I have my hand sanitizer there, Ziggy's blankets, Ziggy's teddy bears, and dogs, and cats. He loves that, um, so I'm gonna, yeah, like, I'm gonna take a walk with him. Let's hope that he sleeps, so that I can come back, style my hair. I just quickly put it my hair in this thing in um the style for me kind of looks cute like hmm it's new i'm a new person guys like i'm a new me yeah. Yeah. anyway like i didn't put anything on my ends um yeah ziggy is complaining ziggy is complaining about taking a walk so let me take a walk i will talk you talk to you guys when i come back ciao Hi Leafies, this is the next day. I'm so sorry um, when I got home, yo, I struggled to get my child to sleep. <laughs> I struggled to get my child to sleep, so um, he went to sleep very late and then obviously because I am um, shooting from my phone, um, the sun was already down so I couldn't I couldn't make a video but this is the next day my hair looks looks a bit it looks the shape looks still good but it's just my hair is very dirty so I have to wash it and it's very frizzy it's early in the morning guys so bear with me but I'm gonna wash my hair now and um, yeah hopefully also part not hopefully <laughs> um yeah I'm also gonna bath and um yeah, brush my teeth and dunga and then we will speak later on. I am excited guys because this is my first time that I will be like washing my layered diva cut hair. Hey, I'm so proud of myself because um your girl did it. Your girl did it. It was it was my first time and I think I did quite a good job. I'm just a bit nervous and I'm just a bit nervous because it will be my first time um now washing my hair and um I don't know man I'm just nervous because I don't know I'm kinda nervous because I think like yo maybe the shape is gonna change, the curls will I don't know, it's a weird feeling, it's a weird nervous feeling when you cut your hair because then it feels like your your shape is not going to be the same, your bangs won't be, you know, as long anymore. Like now I see like it, it's shorter because it was, it was a year on the first day and second day and now it's like years so and I'm like nervous but it's fine. Even if it's short, it's still okay. Um, I think it's because my is now obviously more volume the year, so that's why it's a bit short, yeah. But yeah, my child is playing there. I don't know what's gonna happen, and I just want to finish off this video today. Um, I'm gonna do it while he's here because I'm not gonna wait for him to sleep because I feel like if I'm waiting for him to sleep, <sighs> I'm waiting forever. So I'm so sorry about this, guys. I have this bad habit of not, um, of not like washing my face at night with, well, when I have makeup on I don't wipe the makeup off or wash my face it's a very bad habit but guys um, what can I say I'm not perfect also it's because I don't really wear a lot of makeup that's why I don't get a lot of pimples and stuff um, 
And yeah, I think maybe because it's a bit safer for me to do that because I don't put makeup on every single day, you see. But that is a bad habit and I have to unlearn it and I have to stop sleeping with makeup on. It's bad, I know it's bad. But anyway guys, let's wash this hair. <laughs> like it's hard, it's frizzy, like it's really frizzy. I have to, have to wash it today. So yo, you're gonna see how this is gonna turn out to be. Hi guys, so I just um, washed my hair today. I washed my hair today and um, it was a process it was a process guys it's actually six o'clock now that's why like the lighting is a bit bad and stuff it was such 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 a struggle um i struggle to style my hair because uh, my hair is not the same length all of my hair is not the same length some is shorter than the other so it was just a struggle 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 to style my hair but i kind of i kind of knew it was going to be a struggle i guess that is why i was a bit nervous about like washing my hair and styling it for the first time after my cut but oh well i guess um, i'm gonna get used I'm, I'm gonna have to get used to this or i'm gonna try to trim my hair again just so that my hair looks okay when it's wet and not only okay when it's dry but i will keep you guys updated updated about that um i will see you guys again tomorrow because tomorrow my hair will be dry then it will be you know the normal diva cut dry hairstyle so i'm excited to show you guys but this is how it looks when it's wet i actually had to wait for it to be to be a bit drier my child is crying again because he wants us to take a walk again um but yeah guys this is my wet hair um my hair is not the same length so some of it is short and some of it is long so it looks a bit weird when it's wet and that is something that you have to keep in mind when you want to do a um a cut you have to keep in mind that your hair is gonna be when it's wet it's not gonna look the same and it's gonna look a bit weird when it's wet that's why um i saw on youtube a lot of people a lot of naturals that have actually these type of cuts they have const um they have diffusers they don't walk out of the house with wet hair like i do so now i'm thinking that i'm gonna have to buy me i'm gonna have to buy me a diffuser and um, a styling cream or something just so that it my hair can get drier and so that my so that my hair can keep stay in place and stay in style but anyway guys this is how it looks it looks very moisturized um yeah but i'm just a bit it's just a bit weird when it's wet so i can't wait for my hair to get dry guys my child is complaining so i'm gonna have to say bye bye see you guys tomorrow i will show you guys the dry results tomorrow bye hi guys i'm back and here is my cut diva cut finally guys my hair is looking the way i want my hair to look i was starting to get worried because guys let me just tell you and if you're wondering why i can sit down with coffee i'm so sorry it's gonna be red here because of my lips but with my favorite cup and my favorite coffee um it's because my child is not with me today it's saturday and my child he slept at my mom's place after a long time he's sleeping there um so yeah i have some me time um i could really like i could really have conversations with myself i feel like it's so important that we just sit down while we do our hair or whatever that we conversations with ourselves um and just you know ask ourselves how are you doing are you okay like um i ask myself am i happy with this haircut i want to end off this vlog um while i have time to sit down and talk to you guys about why i decided to cut my hair and why i went for this shave i am so happy about this cut i am so happy about this cut guys and i know you guys love it too um the reason i decided to cut my hair was <laughs> was i i was bored i was bored of my hair um 
not really like bored bored but just bored of having the same hair routine using the same products you know having the same hairstyle because if you are following me on my social media you would know that I don't make a lot of hairstyles I sometimes make a hairstyle like I will just pop up on my Facebook page with a different hairstyle but it won't happen a lot so I don't make a lot of hairstyles because I don't have the time to do that hairstyle so I don't have the time guys I have a two-year-old with me at home now because of lockdown and cases that are closed closed and stuff so I don't really have the time to do hairstyles but at the same time um, I just want to say that it's more healthier not to touch your hair a lot and make a lot of hairstyles especially like tight hairstyles and stuff like that and brushing your hair a lot it's not healthy for your hair so i always always go for the healthy way um i feel like if i had more time maybe i would have i would have I would have made more hairstyles just to spice things up on my page and my social media and also just spice my look up but at the same time I wouldn't make a lot of hairstyles because of health reasons but um, I was bored and not only that um, and I know that a lot of you a lot of you you are bored of your hair I know you guys are bored of your hair but I just want to give you guys advice that um, don't go back to being a straight girl don't go back to relaxing your hair don't go back ask yourself sit down with yourself like i just said in the beginning have a converse a conversation with yourself have a chat with yourself ask yourself why are you bored you know the reason why i was bored what my reason was i was spending a lot of time with my child with my baby so I didn't really spend a lot, a lot of time with my hair. So um, if you are following, following me on Facebook, you would know that I didn't spend a lot of time with my hair in, in, sen in the sense of I didn't deep condition my hair a lot. And my hair, it only takes like two weeks for my hair to not look good. Let me just tell you that. It only takes two weeks for my hair not to look good. So in two in like in a space of two weeks and that is not even a lot guys like two weeks done i'm done i need to i need to i need to do something so um i didn't deep condition my hair for two weeks um i didn't really you know brush out my hair i did apply obviously my product but i did apply my product but you can't apply product on dirty hair because the product it's just gonna go sit on top of your hair. Someone is making noise. Let me close the window quickly. Um, and there the lighting change. Oh no, it's it didn't change. Anyway, yeah, I was bored, guys. I didn't spend a lot of time with my hair, and I was just telling myself that um, you know, you need to do a change, and my hair became very dry. And my ends, you know, if you you guys know that I didn't cut my hair when I blowed out my hair the last time, um, I didn't cut my ends. I didn't get someone to cut my hair. Um, so I knew also I was kind of prepared that my ends were not going to look as good. So in, constantly in my mind, I was like, you have to cut your hair, you have to cut your ends, you have to cut your ends. And then um, I was like, I'm bored. I'm not spending a lot of time with my hair. Um, my hair is dry. I need to do something. And um, I wanted to dye my hair because I was just over the blonde, guys. I was just over the blonde hair, the blonde I was just over it and I was like nah man like I love to dye my hair and I actually wanted to dye my hair black but at the same time I was like I don't have time now to deal with damage you know so I'm gonna have to do research and all that um, research so that I can find a good a good dye that's not gonna damage my hair not that I think that it will because um, yeah obviously blonde dye blonde dye and all these other like wild colors it, it has chemicals but if you just go like for natural natural colors then there's not a lot of damage 
but I want you to be safe because I know I don't have that much time now to um, really like care for my hair so I need to do something that's not gonna damage my in, in, in any way so I don't know I just started to like watch videos of I wanted to of I wanted to start learning I wanted to start learning to cut my hair at home my only my ends that's how it started I started searching for videos on how to cut ends at home then I saw that you can actually do like a, a, a curl by curl cut and I started to look at like three videos and I was like flip there was like one girl that had like the perfect shape shaped hair the perfect shape guys she had the perfect shape it was almost like this and i was like i want to go for that shape that is the shape that i want i want that shape i'm gonna i'm gonna do it so i was like watching these videos trying to like see myself doing it and i was like mentally preparing myself to do it and all that and, the, and then this one day when i washed my hair um before i washed my hair yeah, before I washed my hair, I cut it my ends because I could see like where the damage ends are and stuff. Then I was struggling a little bit because obviously my hair was my hair was so tangled, so I couldn't really cut it the way I wanted. So I only cut it the one side, and um, that is what I'm gonna put here. A pick of it, I'm gonna put it here. Um, so that was like the hair of the one side. And then I washed my hair, I did my hair, um, I did all the good stuff to my hair, detangling, you know, conditioning and all that. And then I did the other side because now my hair was clean, my hair was moisturized and I could see, you know, the, the ends that I could see where I needed to cut because, you know, when your hair is damaged, especially the ends when it's dry and stuff, even if you moisturize it, it's still just not looking the same. So what I did was I was looking at every curl, if it did like a weird thing on the end, because your curl comes like this and then at the end it does like a blocky, it, it just make like a weird shape or something, then I cut it there. If my, if my ends look dry, I cut it. So that is how I started and then all of a sudden, you know, the next day, I trimmed my ear the, the, the previous day and then the next day, I decided to to shape my hair. I was just taking the scissor and I just started to shape. I so wish that I recorded it um, for you guys, but I it was just it wasn't planned. It, it was it just happened. I was obviously preparing myself mentally and preparing myself, um, teaching myself by watching YouTube videos how to do the cut. But I didn't plan when I'm gonna do it. So this one morning while my, while my child was playing. Um, Playing with my phone, he was watching cartoons on my phone. I just decided that today is the day while he's busy in the room, I have time. I'm going to do it now. And I was a bit nervous, but I knew that I'm going to do, I am going to do a good job. And that is the thing, guys. Um, you have that, I don't know why, but sometimes when we are, we are about to do something, when we are going to do something, um, there's just that feeling of you're not going to mess up. Yeah, you are a bit nervous, but you know you're not going to mess up. And that is the kind of like belief that I had in myself that mo that specific morning that I'm not going to mess up. I'm going to, I am going to do this cut. Like I was watched a lot of videos. I can do this. I can do this, you know. And I just started to do it. And guys, like when it was done, it looked so beautiful. <sighs> it was amazing. I was so proud of myself that I could do the cut. And I was like, wow, Zelda, like I, I, I am proud of you. And um, yeah, man, I went up to my sister, like they were like going, they were happy for me. My sister was like, yo, like, yo, it, look, it looks amazing and stuff. So yeah, I am happy. Um, there are a few bad, also bad sides of having a cut like this, a dry cut. Um, so there are a few bad sides. Remember, your hair is not going to lay, your hair is not the same length. It's not the same length. So um, when your hair is wet, it's not gonna, 
look the way it looks now obviously when your hair is flat um you're gonna see like the cut you're gonna see like oh my word like yeah it's short yeah it's long yeah it's long yeah it's short yeah it's short yeah it's long you see so your hair is not the same length and i feel like um, when you have a cut like this you should have a diffuser and you should own a sort of a styling cream um that's gonna hold your curls in place um yeah so i am gonna change my hair routine now i am still gonna be mad about moisture because i don't think i would ever change my routine when it comes to that in terms of moisture i'm always gonna be the moisture queen i'm always gonna focus on moisture but i feel like because i was using a conditioner as a leave-in for about almost like more than two years now i feel like it is time for a change just to switch things up a little bit try something new so that i can you know also show you guys how my hair looks with a different product or with different products and yeah you know it's 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 just so that i can bring a little bit of spice something different you know and also so that i can try out products so that you guys can see how different products if if it's working for my hair or not i can't tell you guys that it's gonna work for my hair because i don't know i didn't use a curling cream in a long time because i had a very bad relationship with curling cream i wasn't mentally prepared i thought that curling cream was going to magically create curls for me and i did not focus on moisture at all i would just apply the curling cream and I, it was actually a curling cream it wasn't like a, a moisturizing curling cream it was just a curling cream you know for definition and i feel like that is why i always tell people that um always focus on moisture first um you know if you have very dry hair put in your leave-in conditioner first or your normal conditioner if you like me a normal conditioner is working for me for you then you know put your conditioner first and then apply a curling cream uh, a curling cream i know some people I don't know if you guys also use like gels. I'm not so familiar with moisturizing gels. But I did see a video on YouTube of someone saying that they are moisturizing gels. So I don't know. Um, yeah. Get a curling cream. Do your, do your research. Get a curling cream that is a moisturizing cream as well. Because we need moisture. And if you are struggling with very dry hair, you are, you are going to be very um, irritated with your hair and stuff. Because now, you know, your hair is dry. And please do your deep conditioning treatments, guys. Like, as if I don't do that for two, my, for two weeks, my hair is looking bad guys so yeah that is the the, the negative side of having having a, a cut like this your hair is not going to look the same when it's wet you're gonna feel like what did i do to my hair but as soon as your hair gets dry and there's volume it looks you know it looks cute um yeah you guys i am so happy i think you guys can see it in my face like you know there's a glow like i am like the smile is here my eyes are closed <laughs> like i am so happy because i wanted i always admired um natural girls with cuts like this i would always save the pics on my phone you know and i never thought that i would be able to do this cut for myself i was actually thinking of going to a hair salon so i was like thinking yo i have to now get you know i have to get my coins together for um for a hair salon but like afterwards i was like nah like i want to learn to do this this stuff for myself i want to learn to do it for myself and the nice thing of doing a haircut yourself is um you exactly know how you want your hair to lay so it's not only about having a haircut but you need to know how to style your hair and um as you guys see in my previous um clip in this video i it was my first time washing my hair with this cut it was my first time styling my hair with this cut and i didn't know how to style my hair so i just want to also tell you guys the other side of having a cut like this is it's like it's a new you a new person so you now have to learn you have basically new hair you have to learn now how to style this hair 
you know you now have to start over and try to learn out how to style your this hair because you can't now just go and do the same stuff your hair must lay like a specific way like as you guys can see the hair that's here it's laying like this i can't now put this hair to the back now it has to come to the front and you know so it is you have to learn to style your hair and focus on how you want your hair your curls to lay and yeah that is the thing i'm thinking now what is the other bad thing yo my coffee is getting cold guys i didn't want it to spoil my lips anyways hmm it's cold guys i do not like cold coffee like i do not like cold coffee but i'm feeling like a new person and then i just want to tell you guys that if you want to do something you know and you know in your heart that it's something that you really want to do then go for it go for it sometimes fear you know it can really like make you not to do something and lose out on opportunities i have to do something tonight guys some it's gonna be my first time doing that specific thing and um i almost convinced myself that i won't be able to do it and then i had to snap out of it and tell myself that no you know like you can do it you can do it so please guys remember that to go for opportunities and if you want to do something to your hand even if it comes out bad at least you know that you you did it and it's going to be a learning curve it's going to be a learning experience and you will have a, a story to tell you know you will have something to tell someone and maybe somehow someone else can learn out of your experience so yeah guys i want to want you guys when you trim your hair at home um don't do everything on one day the one day take it for, um as the one day just trim your ends just your ends you know and then the next day um put your hair to the side and then trim your trim your your shape like you want remember the shape should come like this so if i now had to be you if 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 i now had to trim my hair again i would cut out all the 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 hair strands that's sticking out so i would cut here i would cut here and i would cut a little bit here you see so you're just gonna um create that shape that moon shape and then this side this side let me see if there's any anyone sticking out you maybe gonna cut a little bit there this side doesn't need a lot of cutting but do you guys get what i'm saying and then you do your your bangs you do your kefi then you cut your kefi you know and then just you know do it do it take it step by step so that you don't do everything on once everything at once because you're still learning um so yeah that's what i did i first trimmed my ends and then i trimmed this and this and my bangs my kefi and then yesterday i actually now i trimmed a little bit of of this because i wanted this to be a little bit of a little bit shorter because this was a bit long so i trimmed this so it's a learning curve take it step by step you know um you're not gonna get your hairstyle also don't be like me who want who wants your hairstyle to be perfect you're not gonna get it perfect you this is like 20 i'm talking now for 22 minutes now i'm gonna have to cut some stuff out <laughs> guys Thank you. Um, I will make another video on like, you know, if you guys want more, you know, if you guys have more um, questions about this haircut, please leave it in the comment section down below. And I will be sure to make another video. Um, maybe there's something that I missed, um, something that I left out. You know, um, I was, I didn't script this, so I didn't have anything planned. I didn't write down anything. So I was just um, basically saying what was coming on my mind, coming in my mind. So yeah, um, that is it from me. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, hope you guys like this hairstyle and because I really like it. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. I am so sorry guys that I don't post um, video more videos and I don't post as often as I should, Um, you know especially natural natural hair um content but um don't worry i am still trying to work something out um getting like a way of how i can do it while my child is at home so don't worry we will get there but 
I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you so much for subscribing. You guys are amazing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.